Okay, so just to avoid avoid the awkward silence that we have in the room and tell the people join in. Like I have thought of keeping a buffer time of eight minutes, uh, like if for everyone to join in. So let's go about the icebreaker. So Raghvi and I don't know uh, is like I guess Ishani was there, Tanvi was there, Sneha was there, Vaishnavi was also there. But uh, just going through the icebreaker round because we had a lot of questions and it was so much fun. So tell the people joining. So just pick up any serial number, Raghvi, from one to thirty, any serial number, and I have a list of questions. The questions, the serial number that you pick, I will be asking question which is there on that serial number. So this was uh, a fun session that we had last time. So pick up any right. number from one to thirty. Uh, one to thirteen. Yeah, thirty, three zero, thirteen. Okay. Uh, twenty three. Okay. So your question is, if you could instantly be an expert in something, what would it be? Probably singing. <laughs> Some because mistake. I really enjoy doing it, but I'm not good at it. So. Exactly, I can totally. What feel. kind of music are you into? Hmm? What kind of music are you into? Nothing specific, I guess, because I have like I kind of end up liking smaller artists who are not that well known, but then and maybe mm -hmm. like softer music generally, but there's no specific genre and things. Like let's jam together someday. Sorry, were you saying something? Yeah, I said let's jam together someday. Like yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Not. After the session, like eight to nine, we have the session, and then nine to ten o'clock, we can do this. Like with all the great singers <laughs> that we have in the room. I have another session. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> no, we can keep another session from ten to eleven for this purpose. Done. Yeah, and just count me in. Me in. in. <laughs> so anyone in the room who likes singing, basically, like, is there anyone who can teach us? Yeah, I I like singing. Perfect. Then that's why she wants to keep a jamming session, no? Yeah, cause I'm in all kind of music. Like I can go with people who like to listen metal, soft music, any kind of music, and I'm in. Perfect. Nice. Very nice. Okay. So next we go with Tanvi because she was the most excited one regarding the related to the question. So your serial number, Tanvi? Uh, I would say twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. So uh. If you could commit any crime and get away with it, what wow. would it? Be? Wow, I'm already liking this question. If you would like to commit any crime, okay. If you could commit okay. any crime and okay. get away with it, mm. like you're not caught and no one blames you for it, like one crime that you would want to commit. Mm. Just to say, just to say. Yeah, yeah, no issues. Yeah, I I would think probably I don't have uh well I I have to think a lot about this. Well, crime. Hmm. I don't want to murder anyone. I don't want to steal anything either. Suggested murder. Um, I would like like go with not doing my homework. Well, that's not a crime, but yeah, okay. I'm not doing my homework okay, and it's going unnoticed. We can. Yeah. <laughs> we are going unnoticed, so that would be great. Exactly, great for all times. Yeah. Next. I thing. guess a perfect crime would be to sort of plunder Ambani of him of all of the riches that he has. I would commit that. <laughs> oh, when I was I was small, I wanted to go inside a mall, and then I wanted. The doors to shut down and nobody in the mall and I just shop and whatever I want I take that <laughs> when I was small so yeah that can be. Okay, so next we have Sneha. Um, five. Okay. So your question is: Say you're independently wealthy and you don't have to work. What would you do with your like total free time? Dude, I wanna do like a world tour and like have go skydiving maybe, do all the like good stuff, enjoy life. Wow. Also like open a charity, obviously, because mm -hmm. I have a lot of money. So nice, nice one. 
Okay, Sanjana is also there. Sanjana, you can hear me. Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, so we are just going with like to the people. Everyone joins in, so we are just doing the ice break around once again, just picking up fun questions. So your serial number from one to thirty, pick up any number. Um. Okay. Is fourteen still free? Yeah. Yeah. Any number. Every. Okay. Fourteen. Oh, so a talent you wish that you had, but you don't. Now I know okay. Raghavi, it is singing for you. A talent that you wish you had, but you don't have it. A talent I wish I had that I don't have. I think I'd love to be more sporty, uh, a little more into the athletic side. Nice, nice. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so we have a lot of writing sessions today. Like we don't have verbal sessions, so we have like a lot of writing sessions. So if you people are carrying your pen and paper with you, good enough. If you don't, you can just carry like have a pen and paper around so that you just don't have to frame everything on chat and you can have a rough draft of what you want to present. They are basically very fun activities and simple ones. Come on, Didi, do teams also, no? I mean, you haven't asked the content team. Ah, of course, of course, why not? Let's begin with Aaron, the most excited one. We can go with that. The plan backfired. Okay, okay. <laughs> it wasn't intended as this way. Okay, I was just saying, let, let's start with the team and remove me from it because I said this is the idea. Also, to mention that all the sessions that we have today, like all the activities, all the content team is taking part in it because we know that, I, I don't know that all of you are aware of it, not, but they are really fun ones. So all of you are taking part in it. Okay, so Akshat, your serial number. Um, uh, uh, eight. Okay, so it's eight is what's one thing you love doing and everyone you know hates. I, I guess someone got this question, but then okay. Hmm. I got the question. Oh, then we got that question. Yeah. Um, let, let me think about this, uh, cause I don't know if I do anything like that. Okay, you can take your time, of course. Okay, so we have uh, Devansh is there. Vaishnavi is also there. Who else is joining? Rajvi is also there. Okay, so people, I'm just waiting till 8, 8 or 8, 9 max. That's it. And then we begin with the session. And just a pointer that uh, we have a lot of writing session today. Okay, so it's not like verbal one, which we had the previous time. It's more of writing and testing your basic skills. So just have a pen and paper around you so that you can quickly come up with the answers, like either uh, unmuting your mic or keeping it in the chat box. Anything works, but just keep a pen and paper along. Okay, I've got the answer for the Akshat question. Yeah, the huh. thing that I love is uh, sulking on my bed all day and playing games on my laptop and my parents hate it. So I don't know about everybody, <laughs> but my parents do hate it. Great. Okay, so yeah, just and also I want the question of the the one in which uh, the one crime that I can do. I want that question, please. <laughs> which number was it? <laughs> Any number question that was, you can just answer. Go on with the answer. Yeah, so how about a murder? <laughs> can I murder someone? Why not? Okay, okay so, <laughs> I just okay, wanted so, to ask that. <laughs> huh. So I, I have just, a question I, for you. Like, uh, should it be a quick murder or a slow, torturous murder? It depends <laughs> how the person in front of me takes it. <laughs> Who would you murder exactly? Yeah, that's a secret. Okay. <laughs> okay, so for people who have joined in, like for the first time, except Raghavi that I know, uh, Devansh, were you there for the last session? No, I was not there for the last session. Okay, so just a very quick intro, your name, your branch and something which you are very bad at and uh, a misconception that you had about college, but you don't have it anymore. Um, so, okay, my name is Devan Shagarwal and I am from Computer Science and Engineering and uh, the thing I am bad at, yeah, drawing. Yes, I am bad at drawing and uh, misconception to be honest I didn't had any such kind of misconception regarding the university 
So yeah. Something about your college life that you had, but you don't have it anymore. Yeah, the thing was that okay, we'll go to college and like. Of course. But a chill scene and we'll have fun and. <laughs> exactly, everyone of us and such dreams. I hope the freshers soon get to come on the campus. But okay, so just not delaying it further. Uh, Ishita, present the PPT, and let's start with uh -huh. the session. We'll join in. Okay, so also a very quick question. I have received messages from people saying that um, assignments are like hectic. We shouldn't have used the word assignment because they are very quick activities and like something which you'll be putting. I've already put that down in the uh, WhatsApp group, but still just confirming. Can you please? Can you guys please give me a hand raise? Like those of you who are comfortable writing 100 or 150, 200 words at max. Like I give you a deadline till the next Saturday. Like till the next session begins. So how many of you are comfortable with it? OK, so hands down and how many of you are not comfortable with it? Like, is there anyone who is not OK with it? OK, so no one is there, so I guess we can keep that activity for the for you to be uploaded on the drive link and uh, today we kept it like in an in class activity so that you don't have to spend like too much of hours on uh, it when you're home but if you're if all of you are okay then it's perfectly fine and we can go about it that was a very quick quick question that i had and i'm so glad also i uh, just wanted to share that uh, vaishnavi just after the, after the session she shared a lot of her work like people do write stuff on Instagram, not just sharing your personal life, but something which you love doing. You can share it on Insta and she shared a lot of uh, work that she writes on a regular basis and I really loved what she was writing. So someday, like if you people are really OK with it, you can absolutely share your work with me and we can discuss if you want to ask anything about internship and how it goes and how do you build your resume. I'm perfectly fine with it and I was so happy that so many of you did message me about all this. So uh, that was all about the last session, a very brief recap and everything. And uh, today's session is Nurture Your Roots. OK, so it is session two, Nurture Your Roots. But uh, here we'll be talking about fundamentals, which we have been doing since I don't know, third class or fourth cl class. And I know it's very um, common for you, like already something which you've done and uh, but still just going and reliving all your childhood memories today for sure. You'll be having nostalgia and I want all the content team to take part too. So let's begin with the session. Ishita, go ahead. All right, so um, good evening and we are beginning with this. So um, in this session, we'll, you know, briefly cover up the basic fundamentals, the prerequisites for writing. And uh, we'll be featuring a stellar list of fundamentals and then we'll obviously have the in class activities. Um, yeah. OK, and something very contradictory about writing is that it's uh, very easy and also at the same time very difficult. So we'll just overcome the barriers by learning the prerequisites of writing any particular sort of a content. Um, before we uh, go any further and like sort of proceed with it, uh, can you all just sort of uh, let's just have a communion and discuss like briefly discuss as to what are the constraints that you face while like writing or in the process of writing? Like for example, for me, it's that I am quite redundant when I write and uh, it's sometimes like it's quite mind boggling for me. So what is it for you that is very difficult to write. Like, what are the constraints? Anyone? I kind of find it difficult to like have longer and shorter sentences balanced. I end up writing hmm. too many long sentences together. And even though I like how it sounds like separately, it kind of gets difficult to read, you know, as a full piece because there's no balance of 
length of sentences and things. Right. So precision to be like very precise is what you're lacking. It's the same for me. It's definitely yeah. the same for me. Yeah. Anyone else like we're just having a brief discussion on what exactly are the constraints? Any yeah. sort of difficulty? Adding Anything? on to Raghavi, uh, I mm -hmm. think I also encounter problems like sentence construction because I think I want to write something, but I end up writing something which gives a meaning little different. So yeah, that is a problem I face a lot of time. So. OK, so I have a very quick solution yeah. for what Raghavi and Tanvi mentioned. OK, so I, I used to face the same issue. OK, so initially when you begin writing, so you don't ex exactly know, like you have so many thoughts and you don't know how to put it out, out on paper and like keeping in mind the word limit. So that is what we come across. So what I started doing, like you will see those editorials, like you just imagine just leave editorials. You just come across the club mails that you get. So, you know, like after the club mail, then you have the WhatsApp forwards, which are usually taken from that. So what you can do is like the big paragraphs or big articles that you find, or maybe the big uh, mails, which are quite attractive. Try getting it short. Like, for example, if you were the person instead of the person who wrote, imagine yourself into their boots and think of writing that down. Maybe just limit the words, cut short the words. If it is like for 250 words, get down into 100 words. That is what I feel that a small practice which you can begin with, maybe converting the mails into WhatsApp forwards, which you see generally. So that is a very quick task that you can do for just getting a hang on how to control your word limit and how to not go beyond. So something which you can try. Yeah. OK, so anyone else with the problems that they face like while writing? Researching, uh, articulating. Sneha has a problem. Yeah, I Fashion. would say, yeah, I would say mix of ideas because I would go and start explaining something, and then there would be like another idea popping in my head, and I'd be like, okay, I should add this and this and this, and at the end, it's yeah. I don't know some shit. <laughs> Correct. True. It's just like you sort of digress from the main idea, like the central idea of it. Yeah, I happen like, to. Like, the whole entire like if a project is something like if I have to write something on planets, I would mm. end up writing about uh, I don't know poetry <laughs> authors. <laughs> you go somewhere to somewhere. Right. OK, so um, I cannot see the raised hands. So is anyone left to like sort of give their inputs? I can. Yeah. Can you hear yeah, me? Go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I find finding inspiration a little hard for me. Like there are times when I'm actually super inspired and it takes me five minutes to draft something amazing. But there are another set of times where I do not have any inspiration, absolutely zero inspiration to write anything. So that's my stream. We'll try that. We'll overcome all your problems because these are the common problems that I guess all of us face when we are writing. But let us see. Let us hope for the best at the end of the session. Uh, yeah. Let us just go and ahead. And, yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Um, just a second. OK, so uh, now is the surprise element, which is obviously the quiz. And I'm pretty sure you'll you're like all of you are going to have a lot of fun attempting this one. So I'll just um, share the link with you guys on the chat box and all you have to do is uh, like I'll share um, a quiz code with you. You just need to click on the link and just type out the quiz code. All right. Oh, it's a mixed bag. Kind of uh, which we have curated for you a quiz that has been curated for you. Just a second. It is similar to those of your childhood memories where you were told to do dictations and synonyms and everything, but this is much more fun. So let us see. We have points and everything for that. So just click on the link which is there on the chat box and use the uh, join code and attempt the quiz and do let us know your honest scores and no one is judging you over here. OK, also uh, to like add to what 
Katyani said the scoreboard would already be visible. So um, it'll be fun. OK, I sent it to you guys and the quiz code is just a second. Six one seven. Yeah. Six one seven zero five nine four is the quiz code. I hope it is visible to all of you, right? It is there in the chat box. Yeah. Um, can you all just like sort of raise your hand if you're there? OK, what about the yeah, others? Yeah, perfectly fine. No, no, you can uh, load down your hand. Just attempt the quiz. All right, just a second. I'll just I'll just start it. OK. OK, I can see only like two participants. One is Ishani and the other one is me. You all need to um, type the quiz code. Have you all done it? Six one seven. OK, click a cross on the sign in option and just type the code directly. Yeah, now I can see Sneha, Rajvi, Devansh, Ishani. Somebody who is named Pineapple. <laughs> Aryan. OK, there are eight. Yeah, that's now. me. They were oh, yeah. giving me another name and then they gave Pineapple. I don't know how. Okay. I can start with the quiz, I guess. OK, I can start. I'll start. Yeah, yeah, start. Achha. For people yeah. who haven't. Why able to get in the quiz? OK, so she'll start the quiz and then you will be able to see the questions. OK, guys, just a second. Who is not able to see it? Is there anyone who's not able to see it? Yeah, I'm able to see it. OK, Vaishnavi is not able to see it. OK, can you just uh, try uh, clicking on the link again? I'm trying that right now. OK, Are just you... go to quizzes.com. All right, and, the, and then just code like, code. sort of type the code. Six one seven I kind zero of got it. OK, you got through? Yeah. OK, perfect. OK, there are 12 participants and um, just a second. All right, I'm beginning. Ishani is also done, I guess. OK, perfect. OK, so how was the quiz? Raghavi and Ishani, since you're done. Yeah, who's leading? And did it get you back to your childhood days? Yeah, I mean, it was definitions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I kind of did this idiotic thing of choosing a synonym for an antonym. So like that. Is that. <laughs> <laughs> the options were pretty long and it was taking time to read through them. That yeah. That's what the fun element was. Even Ishani is done. You didn't get you back to your childhood days. Sneha is also done. All right, I guess everyone's done. Uh, three more to go. OK, two more. Ruth Rakshan signs now. Okay. Okay. So feedback, people. How was the quiz? Yeah, Rudraksh was it fun? How was it? Was it fun? Okay. Who's was leading though? Huh, who's there on the leaderboard? I came I first. Oh, it's me. I is first. Congratulations. No, I said Ishani is first. Okay. Ishani. Okay, okay. Ishani. 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 Okay, yeah, congrats. Second is Raghavi and. Nice. It doesn't really matter who is there on the first. It was just that something which we often forget and getting back connected to it since it was the fundamental session. So something very quick. Okay, so now we can go ahead with the session. Ishita, we've already 
exceeded half. All right, they're done. Okay. Yeah, okay, you can okay. keep your uh, lower your hands down. All right. So, um, so after this, we get on with the primary fundamentals of writing. Getting back to what the topic was. Am I audible? Yeah, yeah, you are yeah. audible. Right. OK, perfect. OK, so um, the primary fund fundamentals uh, which starts with the wise because the wise people question the wise. Um, all right, so um, firstly. It's that what exactly is being communicated? How is it being communicated and who is it being communicated to? Right, so what is what would primarily contain the central idea, the core of what has to be communicated? How is the style, the medium and who is obviously your target audience? So we have an activity for you where we are sort of decoding this. Um, here is a basic newspaper clipping and all you have to do is sort of just just read through and we'll decode this. Just a second. Um, yeah. All right, so it says um, would anyone like to sort of read through? Anyone? Like, did you people get what exactly you have to do? Firstly, Before. I'll just like sort of yeah, read through this and uh, what you have to do is you just need to answer the basic fundamentals. What is being communicated? How is it being communicated and who is it being communicated to? Whom is it being communicated to? So any answers? Am I audible? Yeah, yeah you are audible. They're taking some time. You can drop it in the chat box. Anyone who comes up with the answer. Yeah. What, who and whom is it being communicated to? Your uh, PPT is not visible, Ishita. Yeah. Raghavi's answer is perfect. Like what is actually perfect? Who and whom is left? Again, your PPT is not visible, Ishita. It's not presented. Whom is also right. It is just the general public of Japan to be specific, but whom is perfect? Perfect. Sneha's is also there. You can go ahead. That is what exactly is there and you can see the answer now. So next slide is Shita. Your audio is on mute, Ishita, if you're saying something. Yeah, am I audible now? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so these are the three components, which is um, what is being communicated, the radioactive material flowing into the sea, how it's through the medium of the newspaper article, and to whom is it being communicated to? The general public of Japan. And uh, to give you a big picture analysis of what exactly this is, these three are the components of the Laswell model of communication. So he came up with this model of communication and um, yeah, precisely what it is like and uh, the effect. If you would you know, want to ponder about what exactly is the effect, it's just that they're making the general public of Japan um, aware about the hazard of 
the radioactive material flowing into the sea. All right. So yeah, if you sort of follow this model in you, you know your writing, I guess you would get a more nuanced picture as to what exactly are you supposed to write. All right. And here are the fundamentals of writing. Um, the very first being the central idea and then the organization followed by the supporting material, expressions, word choice, spelling, grammar and punctuation. And um, the integral parts or uh, integral parts, the, the most important integral part being the engagement, uh, obviously something which would definitely hold the attention of the reader. Uh, up next is utility. Can anyone guess like have a mere guess? You all can just sort of unmute yourself and speak up about these points. Anyone? Yeah, Sneha, go ahead. Can we Sneha anyone? Um, do I have a question to talk about the utility if I'm not wrong? So how is the content helpful to the people? Maybe how they're going to use it? Exactly. Yeah, that you is could just. Purposes. Yeah, as in like unless you don't take the needs of the audience into consideration, you would not be able to sort of deliver a good content. So precisely that and which aids to their utility, uh, which is I guess persuasion. That is what exactly helps us like, you know, and number three is no plagiarism. This is uh, next to a very sinful act if you commit this it would land you into deep trouble and um credibility anyone can they just have a mere guess on what credibility would connotate to in terms of uh, a good content you all can just unmute yourself and i i can't see the yes, yeah, I think credibility, I, I think is uh, refers to the if you're providing any facts or figures in your writing. So how much uh, correct those are and I think. Yeah, precisely that. I mean, the authenticity of the sources, I mean, you know. Having a fact check, like sort of proofreading whatever you're kind of delivering. All right. And uh, the last one being the keywords which are uh, very important, your precision and uh, cutting down on two words being very uh, word specific. All right, so we come to the primary first uh, component, which is the central idea and uh, central idea is basically the common unifying theme. It's an element in a text which gives you a brief picture about what exactly this is. Right, so it's like a big picture analysis of what exactly is given in a text. All right, and uh, here are the key features like it basically gives you an idea about what is being discussed. It's clearly stated normally in the beginning in the commencement and all the subordinate ideas related to it are, you know, followed up after the central idea. So here's a passage. Can someone briefly like, you know, just just state what is the central idea of this particular passage? The ability to de develop your own understanding. Absolutely, that sounds about right. Anyone else? And I guess um, this like this, this uh, like, you know, uh, written work by Manuel Kant, it, it briefly tells you about the emphasis, like the importance of, you know, getting out of that non age, which is enlightenment. Anyone else who would like to sort of contribute? as to what exactly is the central idea? I think it is um, enhancing self-development or something like that. 
Right, right. In terms of thinking, absolutely. All right. So, um, up next is the supporting material, which is of extreme importance. Uh, just a second. Yeah, so the supporting material. Here it clearly states that, you know, the supporting material in form of examples that are relevant, specific, detailed and sufficient. They sort of they support the argument. They support your stance. And uh, this is an example of, of uh, precisely uh, an example of how conventional wisdom, like how advertising about an, a brand uh, called uh, Listrine, how did its use uh, aid in conventional wisdom? Right. So here is a concept of fabrication, aka conventional wisdom, and it primarily uh, it aids to explain that you know, you need to support your stance and like, you know, use various examples, right? So anyone who can uh, precisely comment on the various supporting materials that we can use, the forms of supporting materials. Anyone? Can it be secondary research articles like like a secondary source or something? Right, so you mean uh, primary and the secondary data? Yes. All right, yeah, precisely that. All right, so um, that's all for from my side. Uh, over to you, Katyaini. Okay, so now we have the interesting part and since we are left with like Clearly, it's already 840, but so going quickly about it. OK, so you see five. We talked about keywords, right? So it is the essential part of any form of writing that you want to do, be it for internships, for your own writing, for anything that you go come across. So you see five words on there on your screens, music, travel, relationship, memories and precious. So I want you all because we are short of time. So pick up any word I wanted you to do for all the five, but pick up any word. And f anything that comes, the first five keywords that comes to your mind regarding that single word. For example, for music, for me, it is soothing, something which I can't even imagine like living without. So any five words, single five words related to any of the words that you see on your board, just put it in the chat box. Keywords, like just highlighting the point again, keywords. Like for example, if you're told to write a blog, maybe on travel or maybe on some of your memories. So what would be the five keywords that your blog would revolve around or your article or anything that you write would revolve around? Guys, can everyone answer for this round? I mean, cause if you don't answer, then that's uh, equal to, you know, you're not able, you're not attending the session. No, no, that's perfectly fine. If you're comfortable, OK with the chat, then go ahead with the chat. I have no issues. It's OK. Yeah, hey, you can just like sort of unmute yourself and go ahead. Music expression. OK, so I see that a lot of you are music lovers. I choose actually memory. Okay. If I would have been in, even I would have chosen memories. Yeah, memory gives me brings me to the world Beautiful, like happy and exactly happy, uh, lost together. Perfect. Yeah, for memory, I, for me it's like memories only leading to a good music and all. Okay. So like are other people writing? Do we wait for others to type in? Uh, I would choose travel. Travel would be adventurous, fun. Um, also give five. you an adrenaline adrenaline rush or excitement. OK, so your five words would be? Um, it would be joyful, excitement and adventurous. Let me think more. Oh. 
exactly nice that is what i'm seeing rudraksh has written educational rudraksh how does mem- uh, your memory relate to education is something like a sad memory or a bad memory that you've created is it that yeah you can say that uh, exactly uh, i i have a very good memory <laughs> perfect so you have so many answers so that is what i'm saying like for any blog that you write or anything that you want to start writing with just come up with the keywords that you want your writing to evolve revolve around five to six keywords and then you can start framing sentences it is just connecting the dots that's it okay so that was one thing that i wanted you all to start up with okay so next slide ishtam okay so organization for content of course uh, if i give you the option like for example if you want to purchase a book and you really want to know what the genre is or what the subject is what the review of the book is now it is of course we have sites like amazon and flipkart which give you the summaries in like one or two sentences but in fact if if you really want to know about what the book is and you go and search on website would you go for like a three page long review of the book or would you like the summary to be crisp and short in 150 to 200 words where you have the plot of the story you don't know the climax how the story proceeds forward but you have all the details and you know that you have to buy you want to buy the book or you don't want to so that is what organization basically deals your introduction tells a uh, clearly it states what your point is of writing how you begin with it how fluent your english is how good your grammar is and even we know for a fact that generally what the papers also anything that we submit or anything even if we are browsing getting yourself i always say that while writing don't fee, don't write as a writer write as a reader putting your boots or putting yourself into the boots of a reader and then analyze that is your writing good enough or not generally what we do we go for the introduction and then we go for the conclusion that is the basic part of con- writing body and all all the two and three paragraphs that you include in between we tend to skip so try to make your introduction orient to the reader keeping the central idea and everything into plot consideration second one you need to have a sequence you write a diary for example i have a habit of writing diary every night before i sleep that is one sort of practice which i'm doing for like years I write a diary. I begin with how my day was, and then I go on to like this was how the day was. It was very bo- boring, dull, whatever. And then you go. You have to maintain the sequence. What we often uh, land up at the end of writing, the tough sentences or the tough uh, sequence that we want to write is at the starting, and then we come up with the easiest one. If you are a reader, you want to go to the base and then get on to the. Um, a complex complex part or whatever messed up part it is so that is what my point is for introduction and then you arrange the logical you have a particular sequence in which you go for the writing your points are very clear and they are helpful like in an attempt of making alliterations or getting listicles whatever you want to you make your content interesting but for the foremost point for a reader or from for the from the point of view of an audience your points should be very clear and helpful for the people conclusion is something which summarizes all that you have written above and it gives you a gist of whatever uh, writing you have done so this is an organization now if you go for blogs if you talk about anything any form of writing your basic fundamentals remain the same it is just the change of format whatever the basic steps how you develop your vocabulary how you go about the sequencing how you go from introduction to conclusion everything remains the same it is just that how you put it down into different formats so this was all about organization and uh, next we have expression word choice point of view again a very nowadays i've seen that uh, the word cliche is mentioned over here people often the way we speak we get we say that the way you speak you pen it down on the paper you ink it but it is not really a fact like you of course pen down your feelings and everything but you should know the choice of words that you're taking into consideration clearly stating your point of view and using expressions so to make your interest writing interesting and that it does not become monotonous for us to write at certain points i give you a topic the same topic to write for 7 days a week like you yourself will get monotonous like for example if i have to write infinite mails in a day regarding the same subject regarding the same topic even i would get bored right 
so for you to have to break that uh, monotonous work that you are doing and for the reader use expressions in between try and how do you develop that for me it is very easy for uh, how i started about it like you go for search for research your work you have quotes you have uh, you go for alliterations you go for adjectives like for example if i tell you to write uh, any mail or something about creativity so how do you get how do you use words related to creativity you just type in google just research that alliterations related matlab something uh, up and down to beginning with c that goes along with creativity adjectives along with creativity and then you start once you start doing all this you know how to play with words actually so i just suggest that expression word choice and point of view are the whole concept of content writing and that is what is the most important thing avoid using uh, cliche words and everything and uh, you can develop the practice once you start writing regularly it could be as simple as writing a diary maybe just a paragraph of how your day was and then like if you proceed now if you proceed at the end of the month the collection of writings that you have the first day of your writing compare it to the 30th day of your writing and you won't yourself believe that your choice of words have changed so much generally we come across the same words the day was great the day was amazing but if i ask you an alternative for the word great or amazing right now at the moment it would be tough for you just because you've lost the practice so keeping these three points in mind um, however you feel convenient to work on it you can start working on it and i have just suggested some of the things which i do it could be different for you but you can go ahead with it so again these three fundamentals of writing that we have covered okay so now you see an extract it is from one of a very famous book by ruskin bond but uh, if you were the author and just based on this extract like the title of anything is very important you buy a book seeing the cover page for people who don't like reading of course if the cover page is interesting the book is bought but for people who love reading you actually go see the title and then you go back to the summary review here i am asking you to read the paragraph that is mentioned and suggest title that if you were the author of the book what title would you have given to the extract i have one so sure, go ahead no notes with that good but um, yeah the curiosities of a teenager nice that's what see this words are very simple but someone who is a teenager would love to read that book right it never has to be too complex or complicated but what she mentioned is so relatable like someone who is a teenager would definitely want to grab that book just to see what is there in it so anyone else any other title okay so since we have no also just to mentioning oh, that uh, we, sorry, yeah yeah go yeah like could it be uh, not a prodigal son oh, <laughs> nice that's what i was saying the relationship between a father and a son can also be explained that was just what i was about to say and that is a perfect one again so like this one was a bit complicated one and that one was a very simple one but both are so relatable like if you had to pick the book just seeing by the title you would pick it up right that is how important the title of the book is title of anything that you write not just a book the title of essay that you write or title of anything that you mention people get attracted to your writing just seeing the title even the website name that you come across or anything so yeah that was again a very short quick question next slide rishita okay so spelling grammar and punctuation since we have been doing this since third class i don't need to elaborate it any more but uh, we often when writing we forget these are very basic errors that we make and it is very important that we get proof reading into our day to day basis something spelling grammar and punctuation it is not me uh, i personally what i do for that i have a book called word power made easy you can go through words okay spelling there are so many confusing spellings i also wanted to conduct another activity but since again we don't have time so uh, we can keep it at the end if you people are free and if you have time so we can go ahead with it but as of now these three things are very common errors which we make and which we don't want to make so try to make your readings free of errors okay so we have the other the last activity probably of the session dig in your thesaurus so you see words on your screen you have to give us 
these are very common words okay so something which we again that i mentioned great amazing cool which we have brought into our habit of slang so just trying to avoid that you see a list of words on your screen go for pick for any five words and just give us a single word for that and no google okay just something which comes to your mind a single word instead of using very 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 and at, at all the moments expressing it more beautifully like pick up any five words and uh, tell us like what alternative you could use very high i guess very huge will be gigantic right gayatri like will it suit better yeah so see very very cute and audible very perfect i got five of them okay go ahead very hard to find is unaccessible ha huh, perfect right nice very heavy is beauty yes very hot is boily okay nice and uh, very intelligent is brilliant nice nice even very nervous that ishani has mentioned jittery is also very nice like a perfect word that could suit also all the words mentioned by vaishnavi very hard to find i would rather say lost very nice ishani keep up the good work yeah then we go ahead yeah i was thinking for very hard to find i would say obscure uh, of course yes nice very large is uh, is humongous a uh, mm -hmm. very lazy is sluggish uh, nice very nervous is oh, sorry very mean is cold mm -hmm. very loud is deafening i don't know how to pronounce it yeah no no okay. okay nice so that is what very cute also someone mentioned who mentioned very cute adorable that is also perfect so we can show the list of the exact words that we have but all of the words that you mentioned it is just that the focus is that you try to alternate these words with the words that you have mentioned right now okay so we can show the list is it the next slide so this is the list of words that we have prepared but all those that you have mentioned are also absolutely correct but you can just go through it like uh, some of them match like perfectly is there any word which matches perfectly no i don't think so anyone but all of them were uh, like adorable okay very cute does match okay so this was a list of words that you can use instead of very and there are so many words which you can just make a list of like you notice your own writing and you make a list of writings words that you use very much in common and then you can try replacing the words like just give it a thought that what could you replace the word with which could make your writing more beautiful so yeah next slide Okay so we are done with the session for today like i also had another very short activity planned but as it is already 9 this was again a class activity but since i've asked you people you want you get okay with a saturday assignment so before the next session that we have on saturday the two prompts that you see on the board if the last text you sent to someone is the title of your story complete the story in free format within 200 words and like if you be honest with your answers for example the last test you sent to someone is by and you think about creating a story it would be so much fun like if you're honest with the answers and you actually see your phone and you realize so i think that is a great prompt second one is again if you could travel back in time say using a time machine but not change anything just relish the particular year or a specific moment what instance would that be pen down your feelings and turmoil of emotions your heart goes through in 150 to 200 words so for both of them your limit is like 200 words 
there is no like there's a particular no format it's just free format and uh, i would suggest writing for both the prompts if you have the time but in case you don't pick up any one of them and uh, keep up your writings and upload it on the drive link that we have kept it in the description or just put it on the whatsapp i guess on the group that's it so that everyone knows each other's writing and maybe i like your writing more or we get to know each other's writing better and then we can ask tips from each other like how to go ahead with writings and all so are the prompts interesting like for everyone any feedback on the prompts the prompts are very innovative especially the first one i really like that it is a tough one tanvi ya yeah, go ahead tanvi actually i i texted last time you know this just 5 minutes ago and it was like i will get back to you let me check and i will get back to you so i'm thinking how exactly. would i write on this that's what so that is what like people if you are honest with your answers like what was the last text and making the story out of it would be so tough like i completely understand but something like you can spend us thinking like not writing writing once you start writing it would be very simple but just thinking about it that would be a bit tricky and i hope that okay vaishnavi yeah go ahead yeah so for the second one i actually just recently wrote something Uh, and it was kind of like a memory kind of a thing which i really yeah. it was about a movie i wrote about a movie that i just recently watched and my feelings what i felt related to that particular movie at that particular time so exactly I so that is what you to pen down like you tell about the movie and how did you relate to it and how did you go about it like what all emotions like if you just think about that particular moment and what all comes to your mind you just pen it down like using beautiful words okay so i know that we use a lot of slang and everything but keeping in mind all the fundamentals that we have discussed and also the spelling normal uh, errors that we make just excluding that so how many of you are up for it like how many of you are actually submitting your writing because i am very excited to read I it i can actually I will tell do it. you now i'll do it okay done sneha also has the video session to attend but just yeah. give me a hand is like all those who are who are doing the activity okay i've got a question so yeah. what about if i send a last text it was an emoji so what no then you have to go to the second last text sorry and the second last text is in hindi <laughs> is it okay if i leave now cuz it's 92 yeah yeah sure sure that's what i okay. just wanted to say really, it was a really great session i'll i'll write both of them to be honest <laughs> Perfect. That's what I'm saying. Like people who have time, please write both of them and just give me a hand raise for the. Isnia, you can leave if you want. You thank can you. go ahead with the videography session. Thank you for just being leave. there, guys. Bye. Thank Bye. you for your time. Yeah. Okay. What about uh, if the last text I sent was in Hindi? I mean, I guess we can answer your questions later on. I don't have answers to your questions, honestly. Okay. So we have uh, Vaishnavi is writing. Ishani is writing. Rudraksh, you are writing. Like, which prompt do you want to choose? Uh, yeah, I think I'll choose the first one. Uh, You'll choose the I... first one. Okay. So... Yeah. 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 Speak. No, nothing. Just continue. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So that's what I wanted to say. Like, I want all of you to please write for the prompts, and there is no specific deadline, but it's okay if you submit it by the next Saturday before the session ends. before the session say uh, third session we begin with the third, third session and i'll put it out on the group the prompt again but uh, that's all from my side and any questions or anything that you want to discuss of course devansh i'll be discussing the question that you have asked but except that anyone else any questions tanvi has a question is it no 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 i was lowering that down okay so yeah any other questions or anything that you want to give any feedback anything okay uh, it was it was great session i am looking forward for our others also so yeah and thank you same here same here it's been really nice me too even i i look forward to spending more of time for writing 
and uh, okay so do upload your writings and uh, that's it from my side for today and let's meet on next saturday again with some another fun activity and more wonderful session so thank you so much for joining in for your time thank you guys thank you so much thank you Yeah, Devansh. So your question about copywriting, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So okay. So for people over there, okay. So these are content people only. So it's perfectly fine. So if you want to go for like you wanted to offer um, internships in uh, copywriting. Hmm. So that yes. is what I wanted to say. Like basically, if you go ahead for uh, copywriting, copywriting involves persuasive writing, right? You need to persuade yeah. the person that uh, your this is the product that you want to go for, and how do you begin with it? Like exactly, if you find uh, material on net, I don't really know that the practical solutions to finding problems are. But what I do is like if you just Google in like prompts, how you can mm -hmm. from the scratch. I'm telling you how to begin it from the scratch. When you okay. go for internships in uh, copywriting, they do ask for your portfolios. Okay, so they want material mm -hmm. which you have written before regarding copywriting, and how do you build it? So if you just search internships related to um, copywriting, you come across a lot of companies, in which you see when you fill. I'm not saying that fill for that. I'm just saying the questions that they mention or the types of uh, products that you come across, just what mm -hmm. they have mentioned. Try replacing it to your own. Okay. whatever content they mention whatever topic mm -hmm. it is related to for example any product that they mention for i was just going through one of the copywriting one it was a brand associated with uh, getting a new product related to something which would uh, not help like you to purify your air or something so just type mm -hmm. in persuasive i i sent you a, i've sent you a link in which there are persuasive writing prompts they are very easy ones to begin with like not getting into the details of copywriting at all very basic one mm. and you can just write article write things on that like pick up any one there are i guess 100 or something uh, prompts are there you can go ahead with that and just start compiling mm. things okay so like for example if you write one even okay. if you write once a week or something like that you can compile and you have 10 to 15 at the end of the before like i would suggest that you go for it during your summer holidays that we get uh -huh. basically to do three. but till then you have like a lot of stuff already written regarding copywriting mm. So either you go for one way is just type in Google persuasive writing prompts and then you get a lot of prompts. Second one is again writing copywriting prompts. So you get an idea what exactly do they demand and what you have to write. Yes. The headline is again one thing which is high headline and the tagline which you don't exactly know how to build up. So try replacing mm -hmm. them to your own. Like you come across a brand or, and then you try replacing your own. For example, keep yourself into the boots of what the person is the for example for example, mcdonald's is there right you have i'm loving mm -hmm. i'm loving it now if you would have been there in the in the person's place what would you have kept so just try getting it into that thing and for prompts and anything i i can send you all the prompts because that is how i have practiced like i have written a quite even for content because i didn't do copywriting internship i did a content writing one i was going through that so when uh, you come across uh, these things, you can create your for portfolio. That was what I meant, where you have like different genres. It could be related to a technology that is something which is currently yeah. as trendy and uh, the most highest type and paid one. So uh, any new product and how do you go about branding it? So if you want prompts, I can send you prompts. If you want to send your writings to me and ask me like, how is it and what all can you add in? I can do that for sure. And when you apply for the, uh, if you go for the skills required na, for content for copywriting, they would okay. mention the same thing: English proficiency and proofreading. Okay, so it involves a lot of proofreading. Like you have huge passages and huge paragraphs, and you have to go about proofreading. So that is again with okay. something you can develop and how do you implement it and all. 
but uh, one suggestion like that is how you can start with from a scratch and if you want you can go for the internship during your summer vacation and that's how you'll improve it 